quickly. Uh, we're installing a steel clutch drum off of an MS661 auto-tune saw. Part number 11221602900B. We're going to put this on a FarmerTech 660. Um, about the 660, this one has 29.9 .9 hours. It's the one that I build on my channel. Uh, piece by piece, we have replaced several different things with OEM steel parts. Uh, the clutch drum bearing was the first thing to go. The E-clip shortly after. Uh, the fuel cap on the other side. I also have installed a Husqvarna compression release for the 395. Uh, some people omit that. This one has the time in advance, and I personally can't start it all day long without compression release. Uh, so we're installing the 661 Auto Tune clutch drum on the Farmer Tech. Uh, the Farmer Tech unit is warped, uh, and that is the case with a lot of these components. They're out of spec, out of round, and that one is out of round. So this is a direct replacement. Uh, I didn't know this, but I got to doing some cross-referencing and the same drum is on the 661 probably that's on the 660. So there, there that is. All right. There we go. I left my, my drive sprocket off. Got to have that. Now, drive sprocket on in the washer in the e clip. Now we're in business. And that's a, a PowerMate 7 tooth Oregon. I don't know if I told you or not, but uh, this one came with an 8 tooth and the OEM bearing uh, shipped for 24 bucks off eBay. Uh, some people have bad opinions of eBay. I've got a couple of good sellers on there. I used to sell myself, but uh, there's that. Uh, the Farmer Tech 660 has 29.9 .9 hours on it. It's a powerhouse. It's dependable with those parts that I have replaced. And I'm running 32 to 1 steel conventional oil. Uh, it is carburetor limited to 11,500 RPM. Thank you for watching.